college worth attending. People want more money. So, by going to college, you it leads to people getting more money in their bank account. People who are about to go to college usually look up information about college. The first college that was created was Harvard in 1636. People also look up the prices. Is it too expensive or not expensive? They also think about, will this affect my family? Because people have other problems in their life, so they need to think about how their family will be affected by paying this. They also could find that Andrew Jackson was a president who didn't go to college. Also, there are Walt Disney, Bill Gates, and Mark Zuckerberg who didn't go to college and became su successful. College is not worth attending is what other, some people think. They think it's too expensive and it's not worth the time. But college is worth attending because you have more job opportunities, you have a better income, and it is a fair price to pay. So, the U.S. Bureau of Labor Statistics did a survey and they found that people with a higher degree, a doctoral or professional degree, earn 950 more or 24.3% of their weekly earnings, more than someone with just a high school degree. And then, as Jason Abel and Richard Dietz, who work at a the Federal Reserve Bank of New York, they say that people earn six, $64,000 with a bachelor's degree. They get, with an associ associate's degree, $5,000, and others get $41,000 a year. And this chart it was created by the U.S. Bureau Lab of Labor Statistics, and it shows that someone with a high school diploma earns 692 a week, when someone with a professional or doctoral degree earn around 1,700. So, Jason Abel and Richard Dietz wrote, um, who work at the Federal Reserve Bank and wrote, do the benefits still outweigh the cost, wrote that <coughs> you don't actually pay the sticker price. When you go to college, they just put the sticker price. They just show what the fees are, but you don't actually pay that out of cost. And that is actually, that is not a lot as many people think because of the cost. And they also wrote that in the study mid 1970s to 1990s that the price was steady and then it rose again in the 2000s but fell again. And so back then and now you don't have to worry about paying as much as you would have in the early 2000s. So with this you're you're not paying as much which won't put you in, in much debt which is beneficial if you go to college. People who go to job college have more job opportunities and are less likely to be unemployed. Philip Trostel, who is a professor of economics in the University of Maine, wrote that people, people have a 24% chance of being employed and have a 74% less chance of being in the labor force. And um, 
the U.S. Bureau of Labor Statistics uh, showed that you have a 3.6% per uh, percent more likely chance of being unemployed when you go to high school. And when you have a job, that means you get more money. And the more money you get, you can pay off your debts and live in today's society. Because in today's society, you need money to get a house, to get food, to clothe yourself. So you want to get a higher paying job. Now, in this chart, the US Bureau of Labor Statistics made right here is how much the uh, high school diploma it, people are likely to be in, in unemployed and the professional doctorals are less likely to be unemployed and so if you subtract 5.2 with 1.6 you get 3.6 percent. Others think college isn't worth it because the price is way too high as Anna Burknat wrote in an article, um, and she wrote that in the 1969s, it was only around $7,000, and then in, now, in 2012, it was, on, it was around 14000 which it doubled. But, as the U.S. Bureau of Labor Statistics shows in the graph, that even though it is a lot of money, per, per se, and it's reasonable to think that college is not worth attending, but you earn it back and you can pay off your debts. So with attending college, you get a higher income, which makes it, it makes people able to support life. There, you don't get a lot of debt, but with the income, you get to pay it off. You have more opportunities to get a better income and to get the job that you want. So stop debating the issue and go to college. What evidence did you gather that you didn't use and why did you choose not to use it? I gathered a lot of statistics that I didn't use because they didn't make sense to me and it would also contradict some of my information because a lot of the statistics, they had to use things that they know and average it out. So it was around the same as my numbers, but they weren't exact, so I didn't use it. What advice would you have for other researchers who consider this topic? I would give them advice to take more time and go take a lot of time to do this because there are so many more articles than what I use to get more information and go into depth. You want to get as much information as you can so you can have a stronger argument.